Alright guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be solving another question from chapter 4 of Bjorn Johnson textbook. And in this problem, we know that a tension of 20 newtons is made in a tape as it passes through a support system. As we can see, we know that the radius of each pulley is 10 millimeter and we need to determine the reaction at point C. So we have two forces of 20 newton so 120 newton here and 120 newton here so as always we're going to start with the free body diagram so we have bar that is like this so at point c we have a fixed support and we know in fixed support we have both x and y component let's call it cx this one cy and since it's a fixed support we need to consider moment two let's call it mc and we have these two pulleys in here and we know the radius of each is so we have 20 newton in here and 20 newton force in here too this is going to pass through this and we have the information about all the dimensions so since we are in equilibrium we can use our equilibrium equations which are sum of all forces equal zero and sum of all moments equal zero now looking at the free body diagram we see that we have so if we go with the fx first, and this will be a positive direction for x, we have the 20 newton force in x direction, and we have cx, and that's pretty much everything in x direction that shows our cx is minus 20 newton, and the negative sign shows that the direction that we consider is not the correct assumption, so it has to be to the left. So that would be the answer for one of the unknowns or the x reaction of this c and we can move on to our fy and so we have minus 20 newton force downward and we have cy and that's pretty much everything in y direction and from here we can find cy 20 newton no negative sign that shows that our assumption for cy was correct and the last thing is the moment of uh, the moment that the reaction c and we can start finding the moment about point c now let's see what we have so for the moment about point c we have the moment of this 20 newton force so as we can see the moment is counterclockwise and we have to find the distance to the line of action and the distance that we are looking for so this will be the line of action and if we want to find the The distance what we are looking for is this distance here plus the radius of the pulley so we know that this distance in here uh, from the figure this is 45 millimeter so this will be 45 millimeter and this little distance here would be the radius of the pulley which from the question we know that is 10 millimeter so we have another 10 millimeter in here and if we want to multiply the force by the distance we simply have the 45 plus 10 which is 55 and if you want to report it by meter we will have 55 divided by a thousand that way we get our distance in meter so basically uh, we are using the 2d shortcut that we have for finding the moment i'm going to put the link in the description below if you guys want to check it out and all we need is to vertical distance from the point that we are finding the moment about point c to the line of action which is the blue dotted line so 10 plus 45 would give us the distance that we are looking for uh, we also have another moment from the other twin force and this one as we can see is uh, also a counterclockwise moment so this one is also in this direction which means another positive moment and the distance that we are looking for is again this will be the line of action of the force so this is the line of action of the force and the distance that we are looking for i'm going to show it in green now would be this distance from here to here so if we get back to the figure we know that from the center of pulley to the point c we have 75 plus 75 and we also have this little distance in here which is again the radius of pulley which is 10 so what we have 
in here is another plus 10 too. So all we have uh, 160 millimeter, 75 plus 75, which is 150 plus 10, 160. And that would be in millimeter. If we divide that by a thousand, we'll get it in meter. And the last moment that we have is the moment of MC, which is another reaction at point C equals zero. So positive sign, since we assume that the moment is counterclockwise and if you find the mc will get minus 4.3 newton meter that shows that the correct direction was clockwise and our assumption wasn't right so if you want to find the reaction at c so if you want to find the magnitude we simply have the six squared plus cy squared which is what we found minus 20 plus 20 squared and that would give us 28.3 since the x component was negative and y component was positive so that was our cx that's our cy let's call this angle theta and there will be our c uh theta would be tangent reverse of cy over cx and again we can just put absolute number for these two numbers since the direction already accounted for the negative sign and everything so this will be the tangent reverse of 20 over 20 or 1 and we know that theta will be 45 degrees so the final answer for c will be 28.3 newton and the direction would be what we have in here 45 degrees and that would be the final answer for this question uh, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any specific problem then we can cover it in the next videos you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.